So in this demo, we're going to go over a quick tutorial on how you can upload files via the API gateway into an S3 bucket. So first, we'll start off with the use case. Uh, there are times when you will need to accept file uploads on your website. And for this, you can set up the following. You can create an S3 bucket that will hold all your files that you're uploading. And we can use the API gateway to create a REST API that will accept put requests for those file uploads. So now that we have the use case defined, let's get into it. Okay, so to start off, we'll first start with creating the S3 bucket. So we'll click on S3, go to create a bucket, start by giving our bucket a name. So I'm gonna call mine, uh, let's find solutions, file upload. I'll pick US East 1. I'll leave that the same. We just want to take note of that because you'll need to use it again later. You'll have to keep in the same region uh, later. So US East 1 is the one I'm going to go with. Uh, everything else I'm going to keep the same. We won't make this public. Uh, I will enable bucket versioning and encryption. I will leave the same and go to create bucket. So now that our bucket's created, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is going to create a role and attach a policy to it. So let's start off by selecting IAM. Go down to roles, create a role. Scroll down to the bottom. We're going to look for API gateway. Oops. So API gateway is there. Let's select API gateway. Highlight it. Click next. So we have our API gateway role here. Uh, we'll leave everything the same and click next and let's give it a name so we'll call this api gateway s3 scroll down leave everything the same and we can create this role so you see here the roles created uh, now we'll need to attach a policy to this so if we click on here click on the new role we created there's a add permissions and we are going to attach policies so right now we'll have to create a brand new policy so what we will do is we are going to choose our service which will be s3 and then the action we're going to be putting doing a put so let's search for Put object, let's select that. Let's scroll down. And this will need an ARN to our resource. So we can add our ARN. Here we're going to want to add uh, our S3 bucket name. So our S3 bucket, mine was uh, let's find solutions file upload. be the bucket name sorry so let's do this I have it typed here and we're gonna allow it everything all the objects within that bucket so here we have our bucket name and we're gonna allow everything within our bucket so I'm gonna click add there We don't need to change the request conditions and we can click on to next. Leave that the same, we can go on to review and we're gonna give this policy a name. So we'll call this, uh, let's call this S3 bucket policy. And we're gonna create this policy And if we scroll down, so we see our policy has been created. So what we're going to do is select it and go to actions. And we're going to attach it to our role that we created earlier. So once we do that, in the list, you'll see the role created there. We're going to pick on API Gateway S3 and attach that policy to that role. So 
So if we actually go back to the role, we'll see that our role now has our new policy that we created attached to it and the original uh, API gateway policy that was attached to it. So now that we have the role and the policy created, we'll move on to the next step. So next, we'll move on to creating the API gateway. But before we do that, uh, let's go back to our IAM role. Let's just copy that ARN whoops, under roles because we're going to need that in our API gateway setup. So if we go there, copy the ARN, maybe save it to Notepad for now. Let's save that. So now let's go to API gateway and create that next. Go to APIs. Oops, I clicked it. Uh, what we're going to create is a REST API. Uh, we're not creating a private one, just a regular REST API. Go to build. Let's say OK. It's going to be a REST API. We're going to create a new API. And we'll call this uh, file upload S3. And let's go to create API. So now we have our new API. What we're going to do next is select actions, create a resource. So the first resource we're going to create is our bucket. This will be our bucket resource. Uh, what we we'll want to do is add brackets in front and after. So that signifies that this is going to be a parameter in our path URL. Uh, you can enable enable cores now or later. That depends. Uh, it, usually, we can just enable it now if we want. Uh, just because we might have to come back later and enable it if we had to. I just can. I just gonna enable it now. Save us time. So now we have our bucket. Mm -hmm. uh, next, we're gonna create another resource under that. This will be our file name resource. So this is gonna be the file the name of the file when we upload it to our bucket. Again, this is going to be in a parameter, one of the path parameters. So put uh, brackets around it. We'll enable cores again. OK, so now under this, we are going to now create a method. So we are creating a put method. Check that box. Uh, so we're going to create a AWS service. So the region uh, will be the same region that we selected earlier. So I selected uh, US East 1. So I'm going to use that region. For the service, we're going to go with S3. So we scroll down. S3 is in the list. Domain we'll leave alone. This is going to be a put method. We are going to use a path override, which will be our bucket slash and then bucket file name. Our role is the ARN that we saved earlier. So we can save that, copy it over. We'll leave it pass through and leave the timeout the same. And we'll click on save. So that creates our put request. Uh, the next thing we'll want to do is go to integration. We're actually going to want to add our URL parameters there. We have two that we need to add. First one again is the bucket. Bucket. And it will be method dot request dot path dot bucket. Save that. And add a second one, which again is our file name. File name method dot request path file name. We'll save that. Okay, now that that's saved, we can go back. So one other thing we do need to set um, is the kind of file types that we're going to accept. So if we go to settings, uh, we're going to set the binary media types. So for this demo, we'll just let it accept everything and save changes. But uh, depending on your use case, you can set uh, additional or you can limit it to a 
specific media types if you want, like uh, image files, um, PDFs, or only text files. But just for the sake of this demo, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it star just to accept all file types. So we're going to save that. Oops. And then what we can do next is go and deploy our API. I already have a dev stage set up. Click on dev and we will deploy. So now this is going to take a couple minutes deploying the API. Uh, if you go to put, there's our address for our API endpoint. We'll give it a couple minutes and we can test out the API in Postman. Okay, so the final thing we're going to do is test out our API in Postman. We'll start off by copying this endpoint. We'll head over to Postman. So what I've done is I've already created a uh, put request here. All we'll do is take that endpoint and paste it in there. We're going to replace this bucket parameter with our bucket name. So it's, let's find solutions dash file upload. And then we'll put in a file name. So this file name doesn't have to match your actual file name. It's the file name that you want to call it in S3. So we'll call it test upload one dot text since I'll be uploading a text file. We'll go and select a file, this text file here, and we'll try to click send, see what happens. So we got back a 200 OK and a 1. So let's go to S3 bucket and see if we have a file there. Go back here, we'll go into our S3 bucket, click on the S3 bucket, and you can see here we got our file. And there you have it, our working file upload from the API gateway into our S3 bucket. So there you have it. That's how you set up a file upload via API gateway into S3 buckets. So if you like this video, uh, please give a like or thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Take care now.